Hey guys, so today we're showing off the 2021 Upper Deck Series 1 full canvas set of base and young guns. I've already showed off my full set of regular base and young guns from the regular set, as well as all my exclusives and parallels and that sort of thing. So make sure to check that video out if you're interested in the top right corner. And now we've got the canvas set. So this is a set I do every year. I'm a big fan of the flagship sets. I like to open the other products, but I don't actually collect them. I collect this stuff though. So these are gonna be the better young guns. So we'll get to that when we get there. So first off, everything's in the starter kit binder. This is $25 and it comes with three different packs. I think they're retail packs and a sophomore sensations card. So that's uh, something I opened on the channel as well a few weeks ago. So you can check that out in the top right corner again. But as for the set, there are 90 base cards for series one, 90 for series two, and then 30 young guns a piece. So you're looking at 180 base cards and then 60 young guns overall. And uh, most of the cards kind of go for a dollar or two, not very expensive. Some guys like maybe Nathan McKinnon or Sidney Crosby go a little more at auctions and they also book value a little bit higher. But um, for the most part, a full set can be found on eBay for about $90 right now. That might go down, that might go up, I'm not exactly sure. I will talk about the values of all these cards again at the end of the video. I do think that's a very interesting topic, especially these days. But most of the good players are found in these canvas sets. Um, and whoever's not in series one will usually be found in series two. Another thing that's awesome is the photography. As you can see, there's some very cool shots for almost every card. So they're very nice. Um, and also taking a look just at the design of the canvas here, you can see that it's like, kind of like an art canvas. I think they used to be kind of thicker material. They're getting a little bit watered down in my opinion, but they still look very nice. There's a cool shot there. So anyways, that'll bring us to the young guns. So as I mentioned, there's 30 young guns. The base set has 50 young guns. So they basically picked the top 30 who they thought were gonna be the best. So the first card will be C91. So that's right here. And that's gonna be Alexi Lafreniere. So this is being filmed around February the 6th of 2021. So that's what all the values are like. Sorry if they're not exactly up to date. I know they're always changing, but right now the Lafreniere card is going for about $300 on eBay, Canadian. So there's the Alexi Lafreniere card. Uh, right now he only has the one goal in uh, maybe about 10 games. So he's not doing too well, but hopefully he'll pick it up. So there's that. And then moving along, the next most valuable cards would be down here. So that would be uh, Bowen Byram first. He's playing for the Colorado Avalanche and he's worth about 60 bucks right now. So that's actually a pretty good card. And then there would also be Connor McMichael who's worth about $28, $27. So Connor McMichael. Also, I did forget right here, C95. I've taken out the best, biggest card. So C95 would be Philip Roberg of the Oilers. He's worth about 20 bucks right now. Don't think he's playing yet, but he does have a lot of potential. And the next page here, we would have a couple more of the bigger names. So we've got Josh Norris. He's worth about 25 bucks, Josh Norris. And Peyton Krebs as well. He's worth about 20. He had a good World Juniors. He's also got some potential as well. And a lot of these rookies are actually playing. We see Kurashev in the NHL, Mikey Anderson. We see Ole Ulevi was in the NHL. Uh, Pierre-Olivier Joseph was actually having a pretty good year for the Pens. Uh, who else? Gabe Velarde's playing. Pavel Frantzos has played a full year last year. Jake Ottinger is backing up for the Stars. Nick Bodan is playing in the league. So a lot of these rookies are actually panning out quite early, which is um, seems more than usual. And then the last card here would be Nick Robertson. Very cool shot. And he's worth about $20. So that's the end of this video, guys. There's not a whole lot of cards to show off. Of course, just the 120. But now let's get into discussing the values of all of these canvas cards. So as we always do in these videos, we're going to take a look at the values for all these canvas cards. Keep in mind that these values are as of February 6th of 2021. As I mentioned earlier, that's when I filmed the video. So if you're watching in the future, of course, player values will fluctuate based on who they are and what they accomplish on the ice, whether that be rising after being productive or falling due to not living up to their hype and expectations. So I've compiled some data looking at both the book value and the eBay values of all these cards. As you can see on screen, there's one column for the Beckett high low range in Canadian dollars, one for the same in American dollars, and then one column for what the card typically sells for on eBay within the last month or so. So the base cards are actually worth something as they're inserted one in every four packs. 
Most are worth between 60 cents to a buck Canadian on the low side and a buck 50 to three dollars on the high side according to Beckett. And a few of the superstars like McKinnon and Crosby actually reach up to $8 in book value. Overall, the book value for a full set of 90 ranges from $93 to $235 Canadian or $72 to $184 American. But the more realistic eBay value puts the set at $92.50 Canadian as one set sold for that price a few weeks ago. As for the Young Guns, their Beckett value in the Canadian dollar ranges from $423 to $1,040 for the full set of 30, which is $332 to $816 American. Using the eBay values individually for each card, the full set today would be worth around $650 Canadian. The top 7 right now include Philip Broberg, Peyton Krebs, and Nick Robertson all around $20, then Josh Norris is worth around $25, Connor McMichael closer to 30, Bowen Byram has skyrocketed up past 60, and Alexi Lafreniere still hovering around 275 to 300. So the total eBay value for the full set of 90 base cards, plus the 30 canvas young guns, is right around $750 Canadian. So thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed checking out my full set of 2021 canvas cards. I have tons of full sets of everything from MVP to McDonald's to Tim Hortons, and even various collectibles as well, so I'll try to post a video like this every once in a while. So thanks again, make sure to like and subscribe for all your hockey card content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.